Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Every time I feature a handgun that happens to be red dot ready, many people give me feedback and say, doesn't anybody know how to shoot with open sights? I'm so sick of hearing about red dots. Forget red dots. I don't want anything to do with them. And then you have the other side to say, if it doesn't have a red dot availability, then I don't want anything to do with it. So we have a little bit of divide. And I, and I, I understand that because I have gone full circle. I remember about 10 years ago, I was in a training class and two guys there had red dots on their handguns. And we had some shooting competitions in this class and, and these guys pretty well dominated the shooting competitions. And I was thinking, I was looking at this going, what are these guys doing? They're carrying these, these handguns with red dots on there. It was so foreign to me. And they ended up dominating. I started thinking maybe there's something to this, but I'm still not interested. Now, when you start shooting red dots and you've been shooting iron sights your whole life, there's a learning curve. You have to learn to trust one dot that is a mechanically driven dot on glass. It's different. You hold the gun different. You have to trust the dot even when you feel the gun is off center. It, it's not easy to transition from iron sights to red dots. However, once you are able to practice and, and get that down pretty good, red dots are very nice. They... they Kind of gives you the feeling that you're cheating. But there used to be a time when people had to get their slides milled to fit a red dot. That was something that a lot of people were doing. And they say, I'm, I'm putting a red dot on here. And back then, you had uh, uh, Leupold, you had Vortex, and you had Trigicon making the, the lion's share of the red dots out there. Now you have everybody doing it. But people had to mill their slides to get a Trigicon RMR. Now, that was another argument against red dots. You know, an RMR is up to 500 bucks or so. And they say, you know what? I'm paying just as much for the red dot as I paid for the handgun. This doesn't make sense to me. And then other people are saying, you know what? I shoot way better with a red dot. And so there's this little divide. And now what we're seeing is many new releases and many old handguns that have been around a while are coming out with a Gen 2 model that is now optic ready. So this is what's happening in the red dot thing. And I want to give you my thoughts as to where I stand. I fought it for years, but then I shot some. And I have learned that when it comes to my CCW handgun, I really don't want a red dot. I, I just, I don't want to deal with a mechanical failure that requires a battery. A lot of people are. You you go to a range now and you look at the people that are shooting handguns, you will see red dots all over the place. And especially the younger shooters. They're all over red dots. To them, it's just easier. And once again, it feels like cheating. But with a full-size handgun, I love a red dot. It took me a while to learn how to, how to focus in and, and even when the angle of the gun didn't feel right, if you trust the dot and you fire and you hit your target, that's kind of neat. It, 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 it took a while, but I got into it. Now, one of the things that used to be a big time advantage was night sights. Night sights have been around for, well, since the late 80s, early 90s. Night sights were developed, tritium was developed, and that was the big technology advantage with iron sights. And then they, as time went on, they made sights adjustable they put fiber optics in there and that's a great sight system there's no doubt about that and that's actually what i prefer with my carry gun but the point of a red dot is to trust that dot and, and learn how to be very accurate with it and you look at something like this a, a double stack 1911 with a hollison 407 i i I would take this all day long because I've gone through that learning curve of, you know, taking everything that I learned and try to unlearn it to shoot with a red dot. But when it comes to a carry gun, I'm not interested. Full-size guns, I like it. Mid-size guns, I could give or take. Some I like it, some I don't. But there is this divide here. Now, one of the things that we are seeing is that there are so many red dot manufacturers out there. Everything from high end to mid range to budget, much like the handgun market. However, some of the budget red dots and green dots are 
becoming so strongly built and, and so reliable from my experiences that they are doing a great job meeting the needs. And it takes away that, that mindset where you say, I don't want to pay as much for the red dot as I did for the handgun. But then you have the opposite effect. Is, are you the type that says, you know, I don't want anything to do with this because I don't want to have to relearn how I shoot? I don't want to have to rely on a battery. I don't want to have to change out the battery and have to pull off the red dot to put the battery in the compartment that's underneath the red dot that recite it in. Seems like a lot of work to me. But yet, with a competition, yeah, those guys are running red dots for the most part. Now, Red dots have been around way longer than we, we thought. You know, in the mid-80s, there were competitions where people would actually put a scope on a handgun, and they ended up dominating the competitions. And people said, whoa, 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 what's this all about? That's sort of like the evolution of a red dot. That's evolved from a scope to a, a dot to a, a micro dot and all these different sizes and different footprints and everything, and that's where we're at today. So what is it that is your preference? Do you feel that it's overblown and overstated and a lot of money has gone into the red dot market that doesn't need to exist? Or do you believe that it holds a purpose and that it's actually easier to shoot and you're not worried about the mechanics and the batteries behind it? It's a very interesting concept. If you look at where it started and where it's at now, it has really grown. And so has the amount of manufacturers who have gotten into it. And as that has happened, it has become even more popular. But I think the old school people say, I don't want anything to do with it. But the millennials and the Gen Zs, whatever that is, they say, give me a red dot all day long. I want to know what you think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.